This video is sponsored by Whale Street. Whale Street is the DeFi engine that powers NFT economics at a massive scale. It engineered B20, the largest ever NFT bundle containing 20 Beeple NFTs, fractionizing it into the B20 token. The B20 buyout bundle option is now live. Anyone with 5% of the overall supply of B20 tokens can now bid to buy the entire bundle. Check it all out at b20.metapurse.fund. Thanks for the sponsorship. Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So the good news is that the uh, NFT marketplace in the sandbox has just gone live. So um, the sandbox is this user-generated user content world, a bit like uh, Roblox or Minecraft, but this time on the blockchain. And uh, various parts of it have been are being built at the moment. It's still very early, uh, so we've had a lot of of the NFT land um, stuff being sold. Uh, but this is the first time now that we have these in-game assets. So these have all been created by um, artists. At the moment, there's only a special kind of selection of artists. It's a curated list, effectively, at the moment, of these artists who have been allowed to um, create these uh, items, uh, different sorts of, of items, and now. Uh, we can see here these are now available. So some some are not for sale, um, and some are for the first time for sale. So this is the first time that these creators can um, start to generate uh, revenue from these uh, NFTs. So these are all NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. I guess at the moment it's a bit it's going to be a bit difficult to tell kind of how this is going to work because um, the game's not properly live yet. So it's not quite clear why people would want to buy these. Um, in general, you would want to buy these because then you, then you can put them in your own little kind of game worlds that you're making. Um, and, and when the sandbox is completely finished, um, we can see here in the map, there, there's all these different land options. So each one of these little um, squares is, is a single kind of uh, bit of land that all these people own. So people have bought these and uh, you can create your own little um, sort of game universe. Um, it could be, could be a kind of a game itself or could just be an environment that people kind of um uh, kind of mess around in so we can see here actually um i own um a few so this little one here is one that i own this little kind of pink red dot i own another one down here um this one down here so kind of <laughs> kind of random random collection of um nfts that i own um, i think i own one more somewhere else um uh, can't remember um <laughs> uh, in a different wallet i think um so um and you can use the this 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 package called the game maker you download this and then you can create these um these little game worlds but um for the first time we have this market so um each one of these is a an nft it says nft on the blockchain so we're gonna have a click at um charlie the um whatever he is charlie the, the mess something or other messenger bird or something um uh so actually you can't purchase it at the moment so uh, we're gonna have to wait um another day we can kind of get the idea, I suppose, um, that uh, you can see here is the asset. Um, this is a common, um, a, a common uh, item. Um, so that means there's a certain number. So there's 15, 1,500 of these available. Um, and we can see various things. It's a bird, so it's going to have a bird-like behavior. It's going to fly around. Um, and it's got a speed of 25. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there's a few kind of things here about... Uh, how that how that would interact so um this is the person who's made it we can probably go and have a look and see what else they've made okay so this is the artist and they've made a few different things um some of these are not for sale um this looks like this is what they have have purchased and this person also owns um, a whole bunch of land so actually an estate is a very big bit of land um, and a land is just one nft um, so we can see that this person is pretty embedded into the whole um uh sandbox uh, situation they've um so yeah so this is actually got 110 it looks like 110 different items they've published 36 uh, things they've they've um they, they've uh, purchased okay let's go back to the marketplace so um we can see all these are um are priced in this currency this currency is called sand um so sand is basically a cryptocurrency it runs on the ethereum blockchain one sand is is about um 80 80 us cents at the moment so the price of these is probably about six-ish dollars. So these are the cheapest ones I'm looking at now. These are all common. So we can see here there's just one, they have one dot in here. That means they're all common. I mean, some of them look much cooler. So this, this one looks pretty cool. King of the Ice, I like the look of him. 
Um, he's a, a powerful demon dragon. Um, but still, he's only he's only common. Um, he's got power 25 and there's 1500. He's a ground predator. He's going to run around chasing, trying to eat things. Mr. Gold has made him. Um, so again, he's he's pretty cheap. Stegless, Stegosaurus. So we can see Firewolf. You know, all these kind of cool characters that people have been making. Ludwig the Vampire. Um, no, right. So Ludwig the Vampire, we can see he's actually for the first uh, is now more expensive. So 36.75 um, uh, of these sand tokens. So what's that going to be um, for? It's going to be about thirty dollars, maybe something like that. And we can see here he's got two dots in here. So these ones now we've moved from un from common to uh, rare. So we can see this little character. Only three hundred of these now. So because he's because this one's rare, there's fewer of them available. He's a citizen, so he's going to wander around doing things. He's a ma magic humanoid monster, um, and he can uh, he has magic as one of his attributes and speed as a, as another attribute. Um, so we can kind of start to see how the, how this um, the, the kind of rarity works out. So um, obviously, they, I think these. I'm not sure about these prices if they are how they're set. Um, it's kind of hard to tell at the moment because obviously we can't buy these things and, and as soon as people start buying these we can start to work out you know um you would think that king of the ice is going to sell out quicker than charlie the messenger bird because king of the ice just looks much cooler um so so maybe that will change the pricing or this kind of gorilla thing looks pretty cool as well um let's have a look at the highest price so it looks like people have set these things at crazy prices so this is um uh this is like about eight thousand dollars for this um for this uh bit of art um, unlikely uh, I think that looks a bit optimistic for pricing but people always set things at kind of weird prices um, and, and obviously you can see a few people have set these things at quite crazy prices I mean this this steam battle battleship maybe is it steam battleship looks like yeah um, only 10 of those you know that looks pretty cool that, that's this person spent a bit of time making that probably still not worth uh, two thousand uh, two and a half thousand dollars but there we go someone spent a bit of time building building something and obviously over time, um, people will spend more time building cool stuff, um, certainly as more people are playing the sandbox. What else have we got? An aeroplane statue. Uh, yeah. Okay, so at the top end, we're looking like it's a little bit silly, um, the pricing these things are going for. We could also have a look at this. Um, so the least amount is actually how many there are. So some of these things, if, there are, if they are like art, like this unique um, thing we just saw, um, then, then obviously there's just one of, the, one, one of them or two of them. Um, so they're not really, they don't really do anything. Um, potentially in the game, they're more like art pieces. So this one, um, this here, this sand god is kind of cool. So if you know anything about the sandbox, this is actually the um, the sort of the logo of the first sandbox game. Um, so there's only one of those, and they're trying to sell that for fifteen hundred ish, eighteen hundred dollars, whatever it is. Um, you know, probably again unlikely, but um, some fans of the sandbox might think that's that's a pretty cool thing. So we we can start to see that uh, even though these NFT items are really for the sandbox game. Um, that, that we can we can see some of the sort of the scarcity that's going on as well, where we see more generally with these kind of NFTs um, that people are trying to uh, you know um, have very expensive NFTs in 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 not in the sandbox, just just in general by by kind of trying to kind of have cool memes or, or have kind of reasons why these NFTs might be seen as being more valuable. Um, let's have a look at Heavenly Sword. So Heavenly Sword might be useful because obviously we're going to go around and we're going to be going to be bashing things in this game. So the Heavenly Sword looks pretty cool. Um, it's priced at, uh, what's that going to be? $150, $125 maybe. maybe. Um, only 30 of those available. It's got double power and also luck. Um, so that might be interesting for a game. Obviously, um, in, in this is tagged as a, as a weapon. So your game character will be able to um, hold this. Or it could be like a special treasure that someone can pick up in the game and then go around. Um, and that will give them more, more power to kind of bash up enemies. Uh, anything else we can have a look at? There's actually not that many items at the moment. So at the, at the beginning, they're they're um, I think they're being a bit careful about how many of these things they um, they let out and, and just kind of waiting to see what um, what people buy. This one looks pretty cool. And again, lots of kind of dragons we're looking like here. This one looks like a oh, he's actually oh, that's his tail. So this is only five of these. This is a horror horror um, or oh, Midgard serpent. So a bit of mythology in there. This one's legendary, so four dots there, three power and one defense. Um, so, and that one's going to be about five hundred, six hundred dollars. Um, so, we'll we'll see in time how the how the um, the value of these things plays out. And I think it is interesting because these are not just NFTs like 
um, you know, I don't know, Elon Musk made an NFT. These are going to get interesting because, one, they look really cool. This Black Widow spider looks like that. I think that's going to sell out pretty quickly because that looks like, yeah, I want that in my game. I want to have loads of spiders attacking people. So I, I, I spend like $5 on that. Um, so we're going to have this, they're going to have, they're going to like the, the aste aesthetic nature is going to, is going to be important, but also this is going to look cool in the game. If you have a game with these sort of spiders, that will make your game sort of stand out. So there's going to be this kind of mixture of, I guess, utility, what, what it's, this thing is doing the game, what a cool sword, what it would do in the game for you, but also kind of how they look. So it'd be interesting to see. Um, interesting. That's the same person, uh, neon, neon Nick. Um, so we'll start to see some of these artists that I imagine as well start getting popular and they'll, they'll be doing like special editions or one-offs sort of thing, you know, as we've seen in the art. So it's pretty cool to see. Um, keeping an eye on this as it goes live um, in, um, well, in, in a day's time. So uh, so come back uh, next time. We'll probably be buying some of these things to see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. This is Blockchain Gaming World uh, taking a good look at what's going on in the world of blockchain games. Please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that. But thanks for watching and see you again soon.